is less than a year. So if you got a little baby rooster, you know how you went to try for supply and you thought you were just going to get all hens? No, we had 17 roosters. Okay, that first year alive, they're called cockerels. Okay, and the girls are called pullets. When they reach one year, that's when they are a rooster. Okay, so let's talk about roosters for a second. Thinking about a brat. Sometimes they deserve it. I do some college football players like that. Is my husband here? Anyway. So, um, if you have a rooster, he's, he's come, kind of coming at you a little bit. What do you do? Knock him out! Knock him out! Knock him out! <laughs> Yeah, because you're no fuss, and I like you a lot. I like that. I like that. You do that to boys, too. Okay, so anyway, okay, well, I'm going to tell you not to knock him out, at least the first time, because a rooster that's starting to come at you, okay, let's be honest, why do you think he's doing that? Can we just teach kids and not adults? I am just loving you kids. Okay. Okay. Oh, you're sick. Yes. Okay. Let's be honest. The rooster has a job. Okay. I believe God put rooster, the rooster here for a reason. And he's going to protect the ladies. That's his job. And when they get older and they start liking the ladies a lot, they change. That cute little dinky dinky little thing. That, oh, I just, oh, little Herman, he's so cute. Herman becomes Big Bud one day. And he's trying to protect his hens. So while we don't like a vlogging rooster, and while they are awesome in a crock pot at some point, do understand that they are doing what they're doing for a reason. A lot of people get very mad at them. And, you know, try to score six or whatever, you know, do whatever, finish the punt, whatever with them. Don't do that because that will make them more aggressive. Some people, now I know we react, but what do you do if, if, if you're out in the yard and you, you're going and you're going to pick on mom's tomatoes because she's going to can them later and you're helping her out and here comes Bubba across the yard. What do you do? You need to go get your mama. I know a girl. Listen to you. Got to hear this. You got to hear me. You got to hear this. I know somebody who was in the yard. Mama, my man and papa were in the yard ne with the chickens. Never had a problem. And the rooster came at the three-year-old. Listen to me. And they, when they jump, they come up high. They can, especially for. Come here. How, how old are you? How old are you? Come up here. You're five, so you're bigger than a three-year-old. So the rooster came up and began to flog the baby, the girl, and got the entire spur caught about two centimeters below the eye into the bone of the child's face. Okay? Didn't injure the child's eye, but that would have lost an eyeball. And it didn't happen, so they got it out. So what I'm trying to tell you is, if they start to vlog you, you need to go get or come at you at all. Because once they start, unless you can figure out why they're doing it, because sometimes they don't like what you're wearing. If you, I could go to my barn. It's really weird. If I go to my barn and I'm wearing something different than what I normally wear, I have roosters that look at me a little crossways, and I have a great Pyrenees that will look at me a little crossways because you are you're not what they're used to so you need to get a parent involved okay because chickens while they're fluffy and so sweet they are a farm animal and they have to be respected as such thank you for being my demonstrator <laughs> you like that okay we're just having a seat okay let's talk about baby chicks
Have you ever scotched tape an egg? No. no. Okay, let me tell you a story. It is amazing. So I got these cream leg bar eggs, okay? I'm a really nice lady in New York. She sent them to me, and I thought, oh, I'm just going to be so bummed with these beautiful blue eggs. So I put them in the incubator. When I went to candle the egg, not that I am kind of crazy scattered, but I accidentally had the egg Don't touch. So, don't have yolk on it. So I had the egg. This is Americana, by the way. Americana, we'll talk about that. Um, and I dropped it on the countertop. And I, I was so upset. So lucky for me, all it did was crack the outer shell. It did not break the membrane inside. So you know what it did? Yeah. You duct tape it. <laughs> you are a homesteader. I've ever met one. I didn't use duct tape, but I did use scotch, scotch tape. tape. Scotch tape the egg back together. She not only hatched, but she lived, and she has made an entire flock of more babies for me. So don't give up on them, okay? And then I had another one that did that. She started laying eggs last week for me, okay? So let's talk about fancy colored eggs oh, while well, I got it. So this is an Americana. It got its what cut? Yeah, yeah. Oh, hot. hot. See, they're sensitive. You got on the happens. Okay, so you have white eggs. You have blue eggs, brown eggs, purple eggs, red eggs, yellow eggs. Purple. You got purple eggs. You got purple eggs. I have. I have red eggs. I have some babies. 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 There also are Araconas, and then there is what you most likely have, like most people have, and they just, they are called Easter Eggers, okay? They are fabulous chickens for kids. Fabulous chickens for everybody. Cat ladies will love them because they will collect them like cats, okay? What? 